Hello and welcome to Valvision News. I'm Sydney Young. And I'm Esclavon Pruitt. Thanks so much for tuning in. UN's homecoming tradition is still several months away, but goals and purpose are, are already thinking about next year's competition. The College Night Mixer was held at the Student Activity Center last Wednesday, where both sides announced their cabinet positions. Everyone had the chance to meet the cabinet members and get involved. The College Night competition will be in mid-February 2023. UM is preparing for this year's College Night Review called Once Upon a College Night. The review, which will feature a mashup of fairy tale and fantasy theme songs from past College Night shows, will be Friday, October 14th in Palmer Auditorium. The performance will start at 7 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and $15 for non-students. We've put the link to purchase tickets on our Facebook page. The University of Montevallo continues to rank as one of the best colleges in the South for, 14, for the 14th consecutive year, and that's according to the new rankings from the U.S. World and News and World Report in the South. The U.N. ranks sixth for best review, ninth for best college for veterans, and tenth for top public universities. U.N. was also ranked 26th among the best regional university universities in the South. The university is giving prospective students a new way to explore campus through a virtual reality tour. The tour lets parents and students immerse themselves in different areas of campus. You can walk through residence halls, academic buildings, athletic facilities, and more. You can also experience the tour with or without a VR headset. To take the tour, go to montevello.edu slash tours and find out why you belong at Montevello. The new semester means new positions for titles for three members of the UN community. Governor Kay Ivey appointed Cynthia Todd to serve on the University of Montevallo's Board of Trustees. She is the first black woman to serve on the board. Todd is a 1988 graduate of UM. She has been involved with the UM National Alumni Association for almost 20 years, including serving as the first black president of the Alumni Association. Todd's term on the Board of Trustees will last through 2032. Dr. Courtney ben Bentley has been officially named Vice President of Provost of Academic Affairs for the University of Montevallo. She started serving as interim provost in January. Her permanent position went into effect at the beginning of this month. Dr. Bentley was previously UM's Dean of College Education and Human Development. The Stevens College of Business has a new director for the Granger Center for Professional Development. Netflix, Netflix star Brittany Wagner is now the director of the center. The Granger Center is open to all business students to help with job placement, resume building, and interviewing skills. Wagner is also teaching an introduction to business course for freshmen this fall. Wagner is known for starring in the Netflix documentary, Last Chance You. You can read more campus news for, from our student reporters on our website. Just visit valovision.wordpress.com. And remember, there's always more news on our social media 24-7. Be sure to like and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's all the time we have for today's show. Thanks for watching and be sure to tune in to Valor Vision News again next week.